My name is Kimberly Hilton and welcome to my studio. Today I want to share with you a little DIY watercolor um, travel case. So um, I had an idea to make a little um, outdoor painting uh, case. So this is, um, this is what I thought of. So this is just a, um, a game, um, a game case, a CD case. So um, I thought, well, that would make a good little portable palette. So, um, and I noticed you can s cut out a five by seven little piece of watercolor paper, stick right there, the clips will hold it. And um, so I just thought I'd share this with you. So I don't need this uh, Ninja Turtle thing anymore. And um, so there, there's that. So I had an idea that I could put the paint directly here, but I didn't know how that would dry. And I know the paint does really well on these little um, watercolor uh, um, dot palettes. So um, I thought I would make one that fits in the CD case. And all I did was I, I traced the CD, both circles, and cut out a piece of watercolor paper the size of the CD. And now I'm just gonna show you how to make a little dot card palette that will fit inside this little case. And um, these are just the primary, uh, split primary palette. These are from Daniel Smith, but whatever, whatever colors you wanna put in this, you know, you're, you're fine to put whatever colors you want. But this is a good, um, range of colors to get, mix about all the colors that you could ever want to mix. So um, this is a phthalo blue and I'm just gonna squirt some there. You don't really need a whole lot for these little travel palettes but you know you can always refill it or just cut out another one and make another one if you need to but you you would be surprised how many little paintings you can make off of um, these little dot card palettes that I started playing around with and this is ultramarine blue so I'll put that there And then quinacridone rose, or you could put in a, um, a any cool red. This is pyrrol scarlet. I just scored out little size dots of paint and this is um, new gamboge that um, any warm yellow will do and um, I'm out of oh, let's see if we can get any out of it I'm out of hands of yellow lot so no, I'm not going to be able to get it out. So I'm going to use the Da Vinci's Arlide Yellow. And that's all, that's all you have to do. I tried to arrange, arrange them roughly in well, a um, almost compliments. I know orange is a compliment to um, ultramarine, and I know purple. But anyway, that's how I decided to arrange it. You can do it however you want. But I thought that would be really handy because um, you could fit a small little paintbrush. Um, there and you need to let this dry overnight 
and then um, once it's dry you can touch it and the paint doesn't come off so um, that's just an idea for a, a um, little watercolor travel palette that you can stick in your purse and um, if you want if you want to cover this once it's dry you can I wonder if the CD will work you you may could if if you don't mind um, you know if it's an old CD you can just pop the old CD over top of it or even cut out another piece of paper to put over top of it to protect this one but I would say that you could put several little five by seven watercolor pages in there and if you have a water a water brush I don't know where the top to this one is Let's see. Okay, so if you have a water brush, the water water brush will fit in there. But I'm going to take this out because I'm going to close this and I don't really want to um, smear the paint. But see, well, I think the water brush is too big. Okay, well, you can carry that. You can carry that in your purse. But... Isn't that cute? And if you wanted to, you can um, make a, make a color swatch or anything on a water little watercolor paper. Slip in there and slip in this side, and um, that's very small, very lightweight, and it's just about everything you need to do a, a little watercolor sketch. So, um, I hope you enjoyed this little, uh, tip and, uh, thank you for watching. If you like this video, consider subscribing to my channel. I'll, I plan on doing, making more videos. So, um, with that, have a great day and, um, see you next time. Bye.